Okay, so next let's add in a title real quick. So in the effects library titles, you have a lot of default options you can choose from. And for beginners, I would probably recommend you just stick to a default fusion titles template and then you make small edits to it to fit your project needs, such as changing the title text. So if we want to add a title to our timeline, you simply left click it and drag it in. Uh, make sure it is above your main video tracks because we want title templates to show on top of our video, not to override it or not to completely remove the underlying track. So that'll usually mean putting it on video track two or above. So we can kind of scrub through this title and see how it will look when it's fully rendered. Uh, depending on your computer, if you try to play it back in the timeline, because it's a 3D fusion composition, it may not render at full speed the first time. You can note that the pre-rendering bar there above the timeline will show how much of it is already pre-rendered. If it's blue, that means it's rendered. If it's red, that means it isn't. So you can just wait a minute if you want it to be able to play back in full uh, speed. Or if you don't need it to play back in the timeline, you can just wait until your final video export. And when it's exported, it will play back in full speed. Now note that when you go to export your video, regardless of if everything on your timeline is pre-rendered or not, when you do the final render, everything will play back in full speed. So uh, you don't have to worry about that blue bar being there. That's only for your in-editor purposes to be able to view it while you're editing your project. And every time you make a change to the template, it's going to need to pre-render anyway. Just don't worry too much about that unless you need to see it back in full speed while you're editing. Okay, so let's go ahead and change a few settings on this title now. So when you left click on your title, if you have the inspector open in the top right, you can see that uh, most of these default out of the box fusion titles will expose some settings that you can edit in the inspector. So for instance, if I go over to main text and I expand that, you can see that we can change the main text, which is the actual characters that are showing up inside of that title. Uh, we can change the font, which I'll go ahead and change here to something I like more, uh, Babus Noi. Uh, you can always install more fonts in your computer if you want more to show up there. And you can change the color of your font. Now, uh, note that because these are 3D titles, that the text itself is a 3D object. And depending on how those 3D scenes are set up, uh, there may be light that shows on the text. So that would be why you have multiple text colors here. So the text face color here is more of the base color. So I can make that a little darker to make it more obvious. And then the specular color is going to be the color where the light is showing on. So in this case, we're making it white, which is basically going to take the base color and brighten it up a lot, uh, emphasizing that those are the parts that are being lit. You can also see that the uh, surrounding 3D box kind of has that same thing going on there with a specular white color. And then the base color for that box is more of a teal. So just like with the text, you can actually edit the box material, uh, the specular color, the base color for that, and all other kinds of things. You can. It looks like they've even exposed some light colors. So there's a, a lot of options you can change here, but just to keep things simple, Usually you would stick to what font you want to use, what do you want to show in the box. So I'll call this tutorial on titles here to show us the text in the box. And uh, maybe the font size as well is something you can play around with. But once you have your settings as you want it, you can hit play in the timeline and see how that looks. Uh, obviously, once it pre-renders a little bit more, uh, you'll get a better idea of how it will look in the final result. So every time you play it back, it should have a little bit more pre-rendered. And that should basically show you how your title is going to look in the final result.